What are some of the least helpful questions you hear Christians ask? Is people will say, you know, if they if they find out the sort of historical investigation that I've been doing into Jesus devotion, and if they hear anything of it, they'll say, so, is Jesus God? I have to say, well, it all depends on what you mean by the question. The question itself is not terribly clear. And so if you mean, for example, do you mean the figure we formerly knew as God is now to be understood as Jesus? Absolutely not. No, no way. Mm. If you mean that Jesus overwrites God uh, in, in some kind of fulsome way, no. Uh, the New Testament and early Christian literature and all the classical creeds make a distinction between God Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, number one, and then Jesus Christ, his only son, our Lord, number two. So there's an undeniable distinction between uh, the God of the Old Testament and uh, Jesus. You know, so for example, in, in Ehrman's book, uh, which I, I reviewed some time back, but he makes statements like looking at a, at a New Testament passage and he'll say, Jesus is not yet God Almighty here. Well, he never is. He never is. In the fourth century creeds, as they say, I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, that's one thing, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. That's the second one. God the Father Almighty is one thing. Christ is not referred to as God the Father Almighty. He never does become that. So so you have to say, yeah, Bart, you're absolutely right. It's not there in the New Testament or anywhere else in Christian tradition, properly understood. Now, in a lot of popular Christian piety, however, and I, of course, what I'm talking about are the New Testament writings and creedal formulations and um, sort of, you know, uh, scholarly Christian thought. That distinction is maintained, both distinction and close association. Both things have to be said at the same time. 